Welcome everyone to Podcast Theory Productions. My name is Jesse. Today we have with us Mr. Kyle Martin, who is, uh, I believe, a country music slash hard rock singer. I believe you've classified it as as Western rock. I thank you, thank you, uh, thank you for knowing that. Yeah, West rock, something I made up a long time ago. Hashtag West rock. It's kind of stuck. Very nice. Well, Kyle, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here. I, pr- I appreciate thank you so the much time. For having me. Yes, sir. All right. Um, so we we have um, you you have a, a new song coming out. If I have it right, I think this is your fifth album. Actually, uh, this yeah, it will be. To be honest with you, I think here six. Six. Yeah, albums. This, as far as a single, yeah, we've never just put out a, a straight single before, but uh, we have four LPs, uh, an EP that came out in uh, twenty June of twenty, and this will be a single. Okay, beautiful. And the song is called Circadian Rhythm. That actually, that was the that was the three song EP that came out in twenty. So this is a single that will be out. And actually, you're the very first person that I've ever told this. So this is breaking news. Ooh, breaking news! It'll be, uh, it's called Try the Night, and it will debut in mid late June. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you didn't have uh, it wasn't uh, so that circadian rhythm that's on your bio is uh, yeah, circadian came out in uh, June of twenty. Twenty. Okay. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Okay, and so what? Uh, I'm going to ask you the generic question that everybody sure. asked. What what was the the inspiration or the reason for this this new one? What hit you for this one? Um, I'll be honest with you. You know, I've got a ton of material, obviously, in the bag, and I hadn't. You know, we were kind of still in the midst of, of COVID or whatever, and, and winter was kind of wrapping up. And uh, my producer Jesse Corman reached out to me, and he just kind of nudged me from across the way and said, "Hey, let's let's do something." And I said, "Okay, all right." And so, you know, I kind of drug in there and, and to be honest with you, he, he ignited me to get in there and do something. As soon as we started doing it, I started feeling it. So, uh, yeah. And then, you know, it, it, it looked like things and it looks like things might kind of be heading back towards something that we recognize. So I wanted a, a new vehicle to kind of ride into the new the new uh, wave of whatever's going to happen. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. People finally starting to do stuff again. No, right. We need it. We, we need local yes, artists like yourself and, and all the mom and pops and everything. Mom and pop shops just to, you know, help keep us going. Got to support 100%, them. 100%. So uh, as I understand, you uh, growing up, uh, you had uh, influences for your music like uh, Jerry Lee Lewis and uh, Chuck Berry and groups like Van Halen and ZZ Top, which are, which are a great, I think, great combination just to, to combine together. And plus with the with the little country added to it, I think it, that's just beautiful. Well, thank you. You hit the big ones, man. Like I can remember listening to on my Fisher Price tape recorder, listening to Jerry Lee and listening to Chuck Berry and Little Richard and man, those guys, even before I even knew what I was hearing, whatever it was, I knew I liked it. I knew I wanted more of it. And I was like, whoo, you know, and then so uh, I was really into rock and roll and my mom's from from California. And so she kind of brought some of that to the table. Now, dad, he, he he's hardcore country, brother. I mean, that's that's how I grew up. So he brought that to the table and she had some other stuff and I just kind of made a sandwich out of it and started serving it up, you know? That's beautiful. Yeah. I love that. So, um, you you are a New Mexico native, correct? I have lived here since I was like five, six years old. So I'm gonna take it. Okay, yeah, native enough. So you you grew up in the desert of South Central New Mexico. Hundred percent. Yeah. So you are. You, do you still stay around here whenever you're not touring and making songs, or yes, are you I, off? Yes, I do. No, I live in Albuquerque, and how about Albuquerque? And uh, I think. I mean, even I think our best one of our best years here recently, I want to say 19. I think we played like 10 different states in 19 or something close to it. So we were really getting out, but we always come back. OK, yeah. I, you know, I was scrolling through YouTube and I noticed that several of your your music videos are filmed here in Albuquerque. I was, I was recognizing places. So that was very nice yes, to sir. see. Absolutely. Yeah, that's where I grew up and still enjoy living here and playing here. And yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, so if if you don't mind, I'd like to shout out some of your tour dates for everybody sure. so they can they can check and, out I, i'm excited that we even have any to shout out jesse <laughs> oh yeah absolutely it's you know? it, it, it's gonna be nice to go see guys such as yourself just something. you know get out of the house go do something you know right anything it's, all right so for all of you out there mr kyle martin will 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 have uh will be in corrales bistro in corrales new mexico april 23rd yep. 6 p.m uh may the 2nd at the al republic seat of crest new mexico 2 p.m May fifteenth yep. at the Grill, Albuquerque, New Mexico, at six p.m., and May twenty-third at the Cowgirl, Santa Fe, New Mexico, at one p.m., yep. and May twenty-sixth, Corrales Bistro, Corrales, New Mexico, at six p.m. So you guys go check him out and show him some love and support. 
Now, I uh, just uh, just curious on top of that, are you doing anything for Memorial Weekend concert wise, playing anything? You know, uh, right now, I don't think so, but stuff is coming at me really quick. I mean, it, in fact, uh, it's coming on hot and heavy. In fact, I've even had some band-aids, some full band-aids come in that I haven't even posted yet. So I don't know. Right now, I don't, but you never know. Okay. So do you have um, do you have an official release date for your new single yet? Not officially. I'm hoping middle of June, maybe second, third week of June. Second, third week of June. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, I noticed you have Amazon Music and CD Baby as some places people can check out your music. Yes, sir. Do you have others yeah, that you want to shout out? All the, you know, all your major online retailers, your Spotify's and what have you. And we do have our, our own Pandora station. And I there may be other New Mexican recording artists that have Pandora stations, but I'm not aware of that. So okay. we have one. And all the, the onliners you can, you know, that you like to get your music from, we're there. Okay, so you guys definitely make sure to go check them out on all those venues. Uh, show them some support and go check out the uh, the new single. Whenever, I guess stay tuned for whenever you do finally release it. And uh, to check out the, the music videos on YouTube. I was checking several of them out a couple of days ago. And I love, you know, right here in uh, Albuquerque, this, I love the, the scenery, the view, the way you guys filmed it. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. They, yeah, we've kind of picked it up between, uh, you know, some of the stuff from Alien Cowboy and it got a little weird and uh, devil in your eyes that video maybe you saw that one but we've had a lot of fun so yes yes that is actually uh bad behavior and devil in my uh, devil in your eyes are two of my favorites cool thank you i like yeah so like when when would you say that you kind of started picking up a guitar and playing was this something from childhood or 100 percent, my brother my family are all music people uh, i totally took for granted when i was a kid that when we were done eating that we would either sit around I mean, we might sit around the table and play cards but we usually sit around and play music all night and i just thought everybody did that and of course that's not the case and my dad had a band and i uh, he kind of hinted around to me that he wanted me to start playing with him and i sat in and played the whole night when i was 13 and that was my first full on stage gig and i played with him shoot all the way till I was out of high school. And so I've, I've literally been on stage playing my whole life. So like I say, I was getting up sitting in with him when I was 12 years old. So it's a, it's a long thing. <laughs> oh, wow. So you come from a, a family, a long line of musically talented people. Yeah, sure. yeah. a lot of music. Oh, that's amazing. That's that. I love that. That's, I wish I could play guitar. I swear I do. <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't change it. That's for sure. Yeah, I bet not. All right. So, uh, do you have do you have any, any other uh, passion projects or anything else going on you like to shout out for for your yeah, fans? Yeah, you know what? I am so immersed in the music deal. That's that's really me in in a nutshell. You know, I started playing in Albuquerque. I decided I really wanted to do more in around somewhere around 2010, and I was just doing some solo stuff and just kind of kicking around, and then that turned into a band and. Uh, and it really just kept going, man. And we've had a lot of great luck. And like I say, I shoot, I played Nashville, New York, uh, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, open for Dwight Yoakam, Lone Star, a lot of major acts. And so we've done some cool things. Wow. So do you, are you open to doing uh, collaborations with people, other artists, musicians? Uh, like performance collaborations, I am. As far as, I've had some people approach me about like co-writing and, and stuff like that. And I, I, I just really, it's not my shtick, man. I write everything, I, everything you've ever heard is 100% Kyle Martin. Every, every, every okay. note, every word. So, but as far as on stage, it's on stage performance. Oh, I love to just get up and make a thing happen. So lots of times it's more off the cuff, the better I like it. Oh, that's great on the spot. So I noticed you also have a podcast. What, I uh... hope, yes, I, we, we started hosting a, a podcast that we shot from Elephonic Studios. And and um, if, if you don't know that one, I'll, I'll PR uh, Jesse Corman in Elephonic Studios. That's where I produce every and record every album I've ever done. And I mean, he just cut George Thorogood there not too long ago. So it's very top of the line. And we did a 10, a 10 run, 10 episode uh, a podcast there of a lot of uh, really up and coming performers and guys that are ensconced in the music industry here in New Mexico and people that are friends and acquaintances of mine. It was great. We loved it. Yeah. Okay. So is it just basically you guys just covered other artists or? No, I brought on a guest artist in studio for 10 straight episodes. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they're all on my YouTube channel, which is uh, Kyle Martin ABQ. And you can see all those episodes. It was so fun. That is amazing. That's okay. I'm going to have to go check that out. Yeah, we bring them in. We do an interview and then we would perform one of their songs together at the end of every uh, every show. Oh, that's unique. I love that. Cool. That's great. Okay, so you guys go. What is the name of your podcast? Just it's for everybody just out there. So the, the second to last LP was called Raunchy Tonk, and Jesse had the idea that we should call it Raunchy Talk. Right. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. So we stuck with that. 
Oh, I love that. Okay, beautiful. So you guys out there, go check that out. Rachi Talk. Go check it out on YouTube. Do you guys also have it on um, iTunes and Spotify? And You know what? I it should be probably more proactive on some of that. No, it only exists on YouTube as of now. On YouTube. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. So it's uh, in studio video of you guys doing yep. that. That's amazing. All right, sir. Well, I, I, uh, I don't want to take up too much of your oh, time. No, no. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And High Desert Screening. And thank you, guys. Oh, thank you. We appreciate you. And are you going to be at High Desert Screening this year? or I when, when is it this year, sir? If you want to clue me in, please. Uh, you know what? We'll have to talk to Carmen. I'm not sure. Hey, you know what? I'd love to do it. Let me yeah. know. Let's do a thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I know she said one of your one of your videos was, was uh, showing there last time. So I wasn't sure if you're just going to show a video or if you're going to show up or... Well, I'll, I'll let another cat out of the bag. This single that's coming out will also have a video that will come out with it. So maybe that can be a thing. Beautiful. Okay. Hint. <laughs> Hint. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I look forward to seeing it and, and hopefully we get to see you there. And if not, it was uh, it was a blessing being able to talk to you, sir. I enjoyed it and uh, I love meeting you. And um, Thank you so much for having me. I really much appreciate it. And we'll see you out there. Thank you. Yes, sir. We'll see you and uh, have a wonderful and blessed day, sir. Thanks, Jesse. Rock Thank on. You. We'll see you. <laughs>